So today is day 30 of my 30 days of positivity challenge. The challenge is over, but the journey is not over for me. It was a much needed mental and emotional exercise that I have not done as frequently as I needed to do. It's like when you go to the gym and you haven't been to the gym for a while, your body is working out muscles that it has not worked out in a while. And while I maintain a certain level of positivity, I have not always been intentional, as intentional as I have during these 30 days, about being positive and about focusing my energy in different areas as I should have. And when we lose that, we lose mass. Again, it's like when you go to the gym. When you don't go to the gym, you lose muscle mass. When you don't exercise your mental and emotional muscles in the same way, you lose your capacity to be strong in those areas. You tend to default to negativity because that's easy. That's what you've been trained to do. But the one aha moment that I came away from this with in all of this is that I can't have success without successes, and that's my truth. And that's not some fancy play on words or anything like that. I truly believe that I can't have success without successes because my value is the value that I bring to others. Did I come into this world, sit down, have a cocktail and leave? Or did I come into this world with a sense of identity? Did I come into this world with a sense of purpose? Did I come into this world with an intention to impact other people positively so that they can then pass that on to future generations and that this world can be much better than I left it? Did I do those things? That is what I focus on. That means what legacy am I passing to my friends, my family, my clients? What legacy am I passing to the ones who I encounter, who I don't even know? Am I leaving a legacy of a nasty person that just has a bad attitude that people run away from when they see? Or am I leaving a legacy of somebody that inspires other people to be better than who they are? That's what I've come away from this with. And I've always thought about that intently for years, but it's been even more profound because the one thing that this time period has taught me is that life is so fragile and I've already known that we know that because death is certain right death is certain and I know I went real heavy real quick but it's a reality that we all have to come to grips with and because death is certain don't just be sitting on the couch of life get up do something with your life do something more than just coming through, sitting down to have a cocktail and have a good time. If that's your purpose, that might be your purpose. That might be what you are here and meant to be. You are meant to be that person that brings joy in that way. But if you feel any sense of tension within your soul about what you are doing, it's a key indicator that your values are being disrupted. It's a key indicator. So realign yourself with your values. I've really, really appreciated this 30 day challenge. I'm gonna take away many of the aha moments and many of the good practices that I've stumbled upon during this time. I'm gonna to continue to implement them in my lives and I'm gonna, in my life, and I'm going to continue to share them with other people so that they can grow too. I hope you all have a wonderful day, peace.